Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, because everybody, well, quite a lot of you seem to enjoy the videos of me uh, destroying the Batman and Friends uh, Skarloey model to build Talalin, I thought um, for the next thing I'd pick out the stash, uh, the model of Reneus I have, um, which I intend to turn into Dolgok in a, in a similar in a similar process. So yeah, lots more cutting up a, uh, a Thomas and Friends model. Um, Again, I have had this since um, they were first released. Um, again, only released in the US initially. So this was a um, an imported model again from I think pretty much the first batch that arrived in the in the country at the time. But I've not. Um, obviously, you can see, unlike the Scaloi model, which by the time I started doing the videos, I'd already done a lot of work on. This is still um, mint in its box. Um, <clears throat> this is actually not the model I am going to um, destroy, but I thought I'd show you this one uh, first because I have done a tiny, tiny amount of work um, on the one I'm going to destroy, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So, um, yeah, so I like this, the Skylow model. It's, um, it's a really nice model. It's um, a little bit better in some aspects uh, than the Skylow one, so the cylinders... Uh, not as oversized. I just pulled something off. I just pulled the whistle off. <laughs> not the whistle off the top of the uh, off the top of the. Uh, um, yeah, we'll put that back on. Um, there we go. Um, so the cylinders are not as oversized. Uh, neither is the rest of the kind of uh, motion as on as on the Skyline model. It's a bit more refined, and they've done away with the big chunk in the cab, so you can actually see um, all the way from the front to the back through the through the windows. Um, so yeah, I guess they learnt a little bit from uh, what they did with the first model, uh, and this one's just a little bit more, a bit less toy-like. It's still very simplistic inside. It's difficult to kind of see inside here the light, but um, there is a kind of the shape of the back head, but there is no detail. But we can we can deal with that when we get to it. Um, now, as I said, this isn't the one I'm going to destroy, but I just thought I'd show you what it looked like to um, start with. So if we move this one out of the way <clears throat> I'll show you where we're currently at uh, which is this one so when I first bought these um, I the first thing I did was 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 start to look at what I could um, do to uh, to it and obviously the first thing you need to do is replace the face um, so uh, there's the back head. Now the cab's not on. Um, so and the cab is a bit of an issue. We'll come back to the cab in a minute. So I took the face off and I started to work on a replacement. Uh, and I had a, a 3D printed uh, piece that I designed uh, and produced. Um, it's not a, a perfect fit, and we'll get to that in a minute. But it, it's got basically two pins on the back, and it fits in the hole to give you a um, a slightly better um, smoke box door. Um, but at the same time as, as me working on this, um, one of the other people, uh, Stuart Brewer, who also designs models that have come out under the Narrow Planet brand, and he has his own um, small run batch brand as well, uh, uh, also bought a model and started started working on a kit. And he did, what he did eventually turned into this Narrow Planet Dolgot conversion kit. Um, and I donated the design work I'd done on the Smokebox door um, to the kit. Now it's such a small part of the kit that um, I just gave them the, the, the details and they produced them. So um, if you if the kit is ever available again I, I don't get anything from it but go buy it, it's a good kit. Um, <clears throat> and um, it's there's a lot more in it uh, than there is in the uh, than there was in the Scalloway uh, kit. So in the Scalloway kit obviously I did a lot of uh, work myself turning a chimney and, and all sorts of other things, whereas this kit contains uh, a bit more. So the reason that this cab, that I'd had the cab off, was that um, I helped test fit um, an early prototype of design of the cab. So this is just the, the prototype to prove that it kind of fits um, onto the footplate uh, and against the, the coal loads. Uh, so you can see down here it's, it doesn't kind of go all the way to the bottom like it should because there's the molded coal load. So if I remember rightly, uh, that's going to have to get milled off uh, like last time. But let's have a look. Um, as I say, I haven't had a look in this box for a while. I moved all of the parts into a slightly different box. Um, so there's the old cab that came off uh, with the lamp on the back. Nothing particularly special about that. 
but then in here we have <coughs> um, all sorts of different bits and pieces so this is not just the kit uh, this is also the design work so the kit is these bits so there's um there's a nickel silver etch um and the name plates and things are also on a on a little brass etch um there's the the cab and there's the smoke box door and things inside the, the cab print they're all kind of printed in one piece uh, and then there's some lost brass wax castings um but also in this box is the original test pieces so when we were doing it we we're trying to work out whether to use uh, brass or nickel silver depending on the the weights etc um, and here you can see all the rest of the kind of design work bits I did so um, as I said I designed the the um, oops I'm trying not to bash the camera too much I designed the face uh, with the, the smoke box door replacement so what I did was I took I took the face off um, so say goodbye to Reneas um, and worked out exactly how the pins were um, spaced uh, I made a paper template to check that I kind of got that right um, and then what we did was we designed a um, to get the kind of the door right um, the problem is the front so the door should be um, flush against the front plate of the, the smoke box but because of the way the original face fitted um, there's a there's a recess so what we've got here essentially is a plate that goes over the front entirely like that to kind of hide the recess um, and then the the smoke box door kind of glues um, onto that piece so the holes if I can get it to go together with my fingers in the way there we go <clears throat> so obviously it goes through the pins protrude you can glue them on and then that also then the pins then also fit into the the if you get it right, the pins also fit into the uh, there we go, fit into the model as well um, to give you the the smoke box door correctly. So that was my contribution um, to the detailing kit, and as you can see, the rest of the kit has not been not been opened. I've not done anything with it, so all I know is that the the door fitted. Um, but interesting to note that the the final door actually has a hole in it um, because uh, there should be a uh, a handle in the middle uh, and I believe the handle is on the the lost brass uh, the lost wax brass castings um, so let's have a quick look at what's in here um, as I say there's the <clears throat> there's a replacement chimney so again this one's gonna have to get um, milled off um, there's the whistle there's a whole bunch of other bits and pieces um, valves pipe work um, really nice set of parts um, and then obviously as well as the replacement cab um, there is um, etches that cover um, cover over the cab so you get raised smoke um, window surrounds you get all the bolt detail etc without having to have it on the print which can can be a bit of an issue um, there's also if my memory serves multiple different um, variations so that um, they cover slightly different time periods, I think, depending on which of these parts you use. Um, so that, again, is something I'm going to uh, have to kind of figure out what I want. Um, so the instructions are, there's, there's, there's some instructions, how to dismantle it, <coughs> um, part labels and, and show what everything is. Um, so, yeah, so I haven't done, I haven't done much yet. Um, as I say, other than essentially help design the, 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 fa the, the new smoke box door. Um, and check the the fit of the fit of the cab print. Um, so essentially, I'm starting this from from scratch. As well as I say, I have a complete a complete untouched kit um, and a model. So over the next however long it takes, but uh, quite a few videos, I'm guessing uh, this model is going to get um, destroyed in a similar a similar vein to the Scalo model. So um, next step, I think, will be completely dismantling this, stripping the paint off. Um, working out what else I have to kind of grind off the off the model to um, to fit there are also um, I'm not sure if they're in there the yeah, I think they're in there there's replacement splashes as well um, I can't remember quite how they how they worked I never got around to, um, to testing those but I think that means I'm gonna have to obviously grind grind these off and replace them um, yeah so there's 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 gonna be a 
uh, as I say, fair amount of work, fair amount of um, butchering of this uh, this model. But um, as I say, people seem to enjoy the the Skyline models, so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing uh, Reneas become uh, become Dolgog. Um, as I say, there'll be some research to do as to exactly which parts I want and whether I want to do any further alterations, depending on quite what um, time period I want to model. Um, so that's what will be happening next. I think I'll, I'll strip it down and strip the paint off. Uh, but before I start adding anything back, I will probably do um, some of the research to figure out um, exactly uh, what I want it to look like in the end. Um, but yeah, hopefully, um, if you want to follow along, then please feel free to uh, to subscribe, um, and you'll get notifications when uh, when new videos in the series appear. Thanks. Um, so I actually got to doing a little bit sooner than I intended, so a little bit extra at the end. Um, so I've followed the instructions to take the body casting off. So this is obviously, as I say, this is a casting, a metal casting. Um, so that will need to go in some paint stripper. That came off uh, really easily. There's just two uh, two bolts holding that on. <clears throat> the foot plate was a bit more of a, of a pain. Um, the, there are three bolts holding it on, one, two, three. Screws came out nice and easily, um, but it, it was stuck at the the rear of the loco for some reason. I'm not sure why, but um, a little bit of using craft knife just to lever it up, um, and I got that off. Um, the one thing the instructions don't mention um, is taking the cylinders off, but um, I am not going to want um, dog ock in this bright, gaudy orange colour. Um, so I'm going to want to repaint these. So I thought the easiest way to do it was to take them off. Now what I wanted to do was to just pull the plastic piece off the end of the slide bars, um, leave the slide bars, connecting rods, etc., on the loco. Um, but I can't get them off. Looking at the data sheet um, that comes that comes with the the model, the slide bars are here, and it looks like they've got a, a kind of long metal plate on the end. Uh, which slots into the into the plastic part uh, and I'm guessing that it's glued in um, or it's just a very very tight fit um, I've tried using pliers to hold and pull and I can't get it to move at all and obviously I don't want to damage these uh, because unlike in the Skyloe kit I need to put the original ones back um, so um, I can't necessarily dump this in the paint stripper because um, well the plastic can kind of go soft sometimes if you're not careful um not so much of a problem with the foot plate i'll be careful with that but um and i can always straighten it out and stuff if necessary but obviously i don't want to um damage the the piston rods um so i think what i'm going to have to do with this is just um sand it down the best i can which is a bit of a pain because there's rivet detail on the front so we'll have to we'll have to see how that goes um, <clears throat> I'm hoping I can at least get enough of it off that um, I can then mask over the the slide bars um, and and spray these when I when I do a a, a color. Um, <clears throat> I had to undo the the bolts on the rear on the rear wheels, but these are just they're just hex hex screws, so they're just a tiny little bit of force to kind of crack the seal um, with a pair of pliers and then just undo them with your fingers. Came off came off nice and easily. Um, Nice thing about this one compared with Scar Lowy, um, I don't need to go anywhere near the wiring. Um, the foot plate will slide down over this. I didn't have to didn't have to force it at all. As you can see, it's the top of the motor and the the chassis is extra all roughly the same same width. So I didn't have to force that. Just had to be careful with the the wires. Um, so this can just get I can get in with a paintbrush and paint a lot of this uh, black using that um, extra black paint that I talked about in a in a previous in one of the previous videos this uh black 2.0 from Stuart Sample um gives a really black matte finish um so I'll do that on this on this block before it's all reassembled uh later on um but yeah so that's where we are so we have the we have the parts all all taken apart now uh, which means obviously I can strip them and then uh, and then start working on them um also it means that I can I can get to this back head now so I can add some I can add some details on there like I did in in Scarlo as well, just so there's a bit more of a, a bit more of a representation of what you'd what you'd see in the cab. But I, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you a, a brief um, view of what we're what we're dealing with here. 
Um, yeah, I'm, as I say, I'm still trying to work out exactly how much more I'm going to do other than the kit. So one of the things I did on Scarlo was the was the buffers. Um, I'm going to see whether these, how far off accurate these are, uh, and whether I want to replace them or not. They're looking a little bit more solid um, than the ones on Scarlo, and I don't want to don't want to break stuff. So we shall see. But that's where we're at anyway. Um, let's say I have no idea how long it'll take me to get to a point where I've got anything else to report. But I thought it was worth just giving adding this little bit extra on the end to show that things were. We're moving on and things were definitely getting butchered and pulled into pieces.